Hey everybody, it's Craig Bechter here, and I just got back from Photo Plus in New York, and I couldn't help myself. I ended up buying a new camera and lens. A little bit more about that camera in just a second, but first, let's check out some highlights from Photo Plus. All right, so you're probably wondering what camera I ended up getting. So my criteria was I was looking for a hybrid camera that could shoot both stills and video in a compact form factor. Now there was two cameras that really stood out to me. One was the Fuji X-T3 and the second one was the Sony a7 III. So which one do you think I got? All right, so let me talk about how I made this decision. So the Fuji is an APS-C size sensor and the Sony is a full frame sensor. So I had to kind of weigh that. Now I did like the lower price of the lenses with the Fuji and I did like the still quality and the video quality. I thought it looked great. I did some test shots and video while I was there. But I also tested out the Sony and I was thinking about the overall company, their philosophy, the innovations they've come out with and the direction they're heading. And I ended up going with the Sony a7 III. Now there was a couple reasons for that. One was the price. It's a very good camera for the price. Also, I really like the eye autofocus tracking. I got to test it out when I was at Photo Plus and it was shocking how easy it was. You could just stand back, look at the LCD and it would just follow the eye and then you could just, I can't imagine how much time this is gonna save me because when I'm shooting with the Nikon, I'm moving the eye around every time the model or the person moves, I have to move the focus point. I miss focus quite a bit, so I can't wait to try this feature out. So the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna be featuring some videos with the Sony a7 III. Now I also picked up the 85 1.8. This is the Sony 85 1.8. This is a great lens from what I've seen on video anyway, at this price point. So I'm pretty excited to test out this package and I'm gonna compare this to the Nikon D850 and the Nikon 105 1.4 and we'll see how it holds up. I mean, the Nikon is a much more expensive camera. The 105 lens is a much more expensive lens, but if you can get similar quality for a lot lower price, then that's a pretty appealing thing. Now, before I end this video, I just wanna say one thing. I was able to meet a few subscribers or people who watch my YouTube videos and it was a great experience. So if you were there and I met you in person, it was a great experience meeting you. It was very positive, the feedback was great and it really motivated me to create more content, better content. And a lot of the people I talked to had recently moved from say Canon or Nikon to Sony and they had a lot of good things to say about this camera which was kind of motivating me to try it out myself. And so I'm gonna create some videos both about stills and video features of this camera and compare it to other cameras in the next few weeks. So make sure you stay tuned to those videos. So if you were there, it was great meeting you and thanks for watching my videos. Anyway, thanks for watching this one as well. If you have any comments or questions, you can post them down below. Give me a thumbs up for this video and stay tuned to my channel for future videos about the Sony a7 III and the 85 1.8 lens. All right, I'll see you in the next video.